Postpartum Hair Washing Q&A and Tutorial by CMP Novena. Hi, I'm Novena, a registered Chinese medicine practitioner and also a mom of a 9-month-old baby. In this second video of the Asian Postpartum Care series, I will be sharing with you a Chinese medicine practitioner recommended method on how to wash your hair postpartum in the first month after giving birth. Now we're going to start with a question. Why do we need a special method to wash our hair during the first postpartum month? The answers are avoiding raw water, preventing colds and flu, preventing arthritis. You know what the Asian relatives tell you will happen to you when you get older? Or avoiding hair loss. If you chose to prevent colds, you will be correct. Why? Let me explain. After our labor or c-section, in the first month, most of us are physically weakened and we can actually feel it. We have lack of strength to complete physical chores and we may feel less resistant to both the cold and the heat like we can only feel comfortable in a Goldilocks sort of temperature. In traditional Chinese medicine, we urge you not to ignore your intuitive feelings about your body. In this case, if you are feeling sensitive to different temperatures, it is because of Cao Lei So Song. The outer layer of defense of your body is weakened, and at this time, it is extremely easy for you to catch a cold. This cold which I'm talking about includes most commonly the flu and colds and also headaches. Yes, the unexplainable tension type headaches and also the cluster headaches. For those of you who are thinking, Psh, I can take care of myself and avoid these, I must tell you that it is much more common to fall sick during the postpartum time than you think. Every month in my Chinese medicine practice, I have women come to me because of falling sick soon after giving birth, many because of poor hair washing practice, and they tell me it is an utterly miserable experience. Imagine coughing or sneezing while having a c-section or a perineum wound. Imagine having a stuffy nose while you're trying to rest, while already having limited sleep time due to baby carrying responsibilities. I think you understand now why a special hair washing practice is recommended to avoid falling sick during the postpartum time. This video will show you just that. As for hair loss prevention, that hair washing practice will be recommended for 3 months postpartum onwards. I will later be making another video demonstrating that. Regarding avoiding raw water and preventing arthritis, this actually depends on if you have water heaters in your bathrooms. Water nowadays in developed countries is rarely contaminated. That's why in this time and age, Avoiding raw water is not necessary unless your bathroom is very cold or you have to keep washing yourself with cold water, in which case it is possible for you to develop joint pain. Then you might want to wash with boiled ginger water instead. So back to the question, the main point of this special hair washing method in this modern time and age in developed countries is to prevent colds and flu and also headaches. Now moving on to the hair washing demonstration. First, prepare your hair dryer, white tooth detangle hair comb, optional, crocodile hair clips, optional, and hair heat protectant, optional. Also, prepare your bath towel and your clothes for changing. Keep them in your bathroom, in the same room where you're doing your hair wash. Next, if you have a bathroom thermal ventilator, Turn it on to the hot bath option. If you don't have the ventilator and instead have a window vent, close both the vent and the bathroom window. Thirdly, boil 5 liters of water with 120 grams of ginger and ginger peel for 30 minutes. Optionally, you can remove the ginger and ginger peel with a ladle. 
Put this water in a bucket with a scoop or a towel. The ginger is great for warming your scalp, and it also contains an abundance of nutrients that strengthens your hair roots. Add one pump of your baby's no rinse cleanser to the water. This cuts your shampoo time in half because you don't have to lather then rinse off the suds. Now you only need to rinse your hair with this water and it will be able to gently remove dirt and odor from your hair. If you are feeling weak after giving birth, it helps to keep a plastic stool in your shower and sit down during your hair wash. This is of course optional if you feel strong enough. Now step into your shower and hold your head over the bucket. Use the scoop or the towel to rinse your hair with the ginger water. If you are feeling strong enough, you can consider dunking your head into the bucket to soak your hair. Gently massage your hair roots all over your head. Then rinse your hair several times with the ginger water. When you're done, immediately dry your hair with a towel until it's no longer dripping water. Change into your dry clothes. Use your hair heat protectant product. Then use your wide tooth detangle hair brush to quickly smooth out your hair. Then quickly dry your hair on medium heat and a strongish wind setting. Blow dry the apex of your head first, followed by the surrounding areas in the middle of your head where you have thick hair, and then the back of your head. At the back of your head where your hairline connects to your neck, there is an acupoint called Feng Qi, GB20. Warm this point slightly with your hair dryer. This goes a long way for preventing coldness and wind. Finally, dry the length of your hair if it isn't already dry. That's all for the hair washing tutorial. Yes, at the beginning, I recommend separating the hair washing and the body washing to minimize the amount of time of your hair being wet. Try to follow this method as best as you can for your first few hair washes right after giving birth. Then gradually, as your strength and body defenses return, you can gradually cut out parts from this method and return to your normal hair washing routine. Or you can follow my next video on how to prevent hair loss postpartum. I am Novena, the Chinese medicine practitioner. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more.